hey Gemini, it's Lisa here from Morgan Tarot. I'm here to do a um, reading for you guys for late December, early January. Um, this is, you know, in re relation to you and your person. Um, I am running a bit behind on my reading. Well, I'm very behind this month on my readings, but that's okay. I am going to give you some bonus reads in January, given that I've been a bit slow in December due to a number of different things going on, as well as my birthday. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm here to, um, to do a reading for you. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying out some different... Um, spreads at the moment so try out the uh, the mini Celtic spread so I've made up um, I've made up my own sort of mini version of the Celtic spread um, and uh, I hope that you like it so let me know how you what you think about this spread please don't forget this is a general reading it's not going to resonate for every single Gemini and their person um, roles can re you know roles can be reversed they can flip-flop take what resonates leave what does not if it's not fitting your story then it's not for you um, check your other placements or come back later for a different um, you know a different reading um, you know, please also don't forget to like the video. It does help me a lot when you like the video. It helps it to get to more people. It helps my video and my channel to grow. Um, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you get uh, a message and updated when I upload new videos. And uh, let's get started, guys. So, um, as I said, this is my mini Celtic cross reading for you guys. Um, late December, early early January. I'm going to put it up as a January read. And because this is my mini Celtic spread. I am using my beautiful Modern Love Tarot deck, my brand new deck that I've just purchased um, for my birthday. Uh, Gemini, I've gone ahead and pulled the cards for you in this mini Celtic cross because simply just because I'm trying to save time here um, uh, rather than me shuffling and shuffling and having to edit that out and all that stuff, I thought I'd just go ahead, do it, and then have it ready for you guys. And of course, don't forget we're going to clarify any cards that need clarifying. We're going to also get some uh, Love Oracle messages at the end from a few different Oracle decks. All right, let's try and get you guys um, a really clear message for late December, early January. So what's in the heart of the matter for you guys? <clears throat> All right, Temperance. Wow, Major Arcanum. Amazing. This is uh, Major Arcanum number 14. Um, a very significant message, I feel, given that um, it is the heart of the matter. The very first card in, in all of my readings is significant, and this is a Major Arcanum, so it does tell me it's a really important message. Anyway, so... Um, this, I feel, you know, I feel like the heart of the matter for you guys, ha you know, I feel like um, patience has been really important here and balance, right? I feel like um, maybe, you know, there's been, uh, maybe this is about your person needing to have some form of self-control here because this card for me comes across as a, uh, it's about balance, it's about, it's about balance and it's about self-control to a certain extent because, of course, it takes self-control to have patience as well, doesn't it? So I feel like, um, and also divine timing is a significant message for this card for me. Um, so I do feel like divine timing is at play here. I am feeling as though uh, the heart of the matter is I feel like at this at the point in time where you and this person um, were in a relationship, it maybe wasn't quite the right time. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, you guys probably had an amazing time, but I feel like it might have come to an end because timing was out here. There's something about timing I'm getting here from Spirit. Um, there, there was definitely imbalance in the connection because this card only comes out when there's been imbalances, right? Um, and it's here to teach us that. It's he here to, you know, to get us to focus on that. So I feel like maybe there was a lack of cooperation in this connection, perhaps, um, and healing was required because this is very much a healing energy as well. Um, you know, spirit wants you to, you know, gain balance again, gain clarity, take some time out here, have some patience, let things happen in divine timing. If that's what, you know, if they're meant to be, they'll happen. You can't stop divine timing from, you know, from coming into play here. If, you know, if someone is meant for you, they will come to you regardless of what happens. So you need to, I feel like this is kind of a message for you and your person to kind of sit back a little bit more, be more patient, focus on, um, you know, balance here in this connection and I feel like the timing was not quite right in this connection in the past Gemini and I feel like that's probably why this connection didn't work out in the in the past um that's what I'm feeling but we're going to clarify that um as we go along so I do feel like there's a, a message here about balance um and timing not being quite right in the connection at the time that you guys were together all right um what's crossing you guys we have got the four of pentacles okay so um <clears throat> I feel like maybe your person, Gemini, thought that they're... Take it as it resonates. This could be you or your person. Take it as it resonates. But someone here thought that their way was the only way in this connection. You know, they had a, a strong sense of control. 
over the connection and they weren't really willing to compromise here. This is a very stubborn, fixed kind of energy for me. Stagnant in the connection, someone who's not willing to grow, not willing to do anything differently, not willing to try anything new. So this is someone who is not moving, they're very fixed and they might be overly materialistic here, overly focused on you know financial things, material things and very resistant to change or growth in the connection. Um, and I feel like that's what's crossed this connection. I feel like someone was very, someone was very much holding on to old unhealthy habits, uh, toxic patterns, ways of being, ways of thinking. Um, and I feel like maybe even that they thought their viewpoint was the only view, viewpoint that there was. You know, they didn't have uh, that sense of perspective and clarity and seeing things from other people's perspective. And I feel like even a lack of empathy here, like not really seeing things from any other way but their own. It's my way or the highway kind of um, thinking. And I feel like this person definitely put money or wealth over the connection. I feel like that was something that crossed this connection. All right, um, so the root cause of the connection ending. Yeah, we've got the Three of Cups here. So yeah, definitely third party energy here for me in this particular spread. So, you know, we've looked at, there was definitely imbalance here. Timing was out here. Someone was very um, unwilling to compromise, unwilling to move, unwilling to do anything you know, for the connection and very focused on themselves and their finances, their material growth. So I do feel like with this card coming out for, you know, root cause of this uh, connection ending, and yeah, third party energy here caused an ending in this connection. And I feel like, you know, friends could have also been interfering. This for me is also about friends, uh, friendships, uh, when it's represented positively, but when it's represented in this particular reading negatively, I feel as though their friends were interfering in the connection, they were giving their five cents worth, they were trying to influence your person, and I do feel like they succeeded. I feel like your person was listening to that. You or your person, take it as it resonates. Remember, Gemini, this could be for you, it could be your person, it could flip flop and roles could reverse. But someone who was being, you know, very influenced by their friends who were not being good influences on them, and I feel like that had a connection, you know, had an impact on the connection, absolutely. Um, uh, maybe they weren't very favorable to the connection and I feel like they might have tried to you know get you to see things differently than they actually were and a little bit unfair and imbalanced there is definitely imbalance in this connection like I said um, it's kind of my way or the highway kind of feeling so far with the first two cards um, but with this being here as the root cause I do feel as though this three of cups is representing a third party energy that caused an ending in this connection all right so let's have a look at the recent past for you guys and we have got the page of wands here all right um, I feel like in, in the recent past, you know, in recent times, I feel like your person, Gemini, might now want to communicate with you. You or your person, take it as resonance, like I said. You know, someone here is willing to go in a new direction here. This is like my minor arcana full card, right? The only difference between the major arcana and the minor arcana full card, this being my minor in my, you know, the way I read the energy, is that, um, you know, this kind of page of wands energy is very, um, you know, they have self-belief and they have confidence and... They, they, they focus on what they want to be successful here and, you know, long term for them. Unlike the fool, you know, in the, ma in the major arcana who kind of just goes in that direction anyway and doesn't and just, you know, sees what happens and isn't really concerned about what's going to happen. The page of ones for me is someone that is, has actually thought that through, has got a bit of a plan in place. That's the only difference for me uh, in the minor and major arcana full energy. Getting back to this energy, um, so yeah, I feel like this person now, you know, the page is about communication, they're messengers. I feel like this, uh, your person now wants to communicate with you. They might be more willing to go in a new direction here, or you are um, showing more uh, innocence and enthusiasm than the past, more playful, um, you know, more of a fun, uh, youthful energy here. Because you know, look at the look at the look at the character on the card. Very youthful energy. Someone who wants to take a chance now, and someone who could be somewhat immature though. You know, they might still have a bit of growing and learning to do here. Um, this can be an immature energy as well. Um, yeah, someone who, you know, who, who was very, who, who's very lighthearted and maybe more lighthearted than they were in the past. Maybe they were very fixed and stubborn and, you know, and they're now coming in in the recent past showing as having a more lighthearted um, and playful energy, you know, and it kind of makes them a little bit easier to talk to as well. And being a messenger, that, that would be good, right? All right. Okay, the next uh, card I have is uh, is all about your perception of the connection or your person's perception of the connection. Take it as it resonates uh, in this uh, particular reading. 
We've got the Nine of Swords. Okay, Gemini, this is you showing up in your own reading. I feel like you're worried. You or your person. Um, whoever this, I'm not quite sure at this point. I'm going to clarify and find out if this is you or your person that I'm reading for here. Now, remember, um, roles can reverse and flip-flop here as well, Gemini, but I'm reading about your connection here. I feel like this is your person, but it could be you. So your person here, it seems like they're very worried, very guilty, overwhelmed by feelings here, feeling that they've done the wrong thing, Gemini. Uh, they, they're kind of thinking, you know, and wishing, if only, if only I'd done something differently here, and they're really stuck in their head here with this Eight of Swords energy. It has caused something difficult to happen in their life here, and they're really sitting in that emotion and that regret. They're, 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 they're regretting the past here. They're having sleepless nights. They're worried. They're obsessive. They're, they're even having obsessive sorrow. I'm hearing I just heard obsessive sorrow you know they're feeling very vulnerable right now and this is absolutely your energy Gemini interesting right so someone's really um, unhappy about you know what's happened in this connection and it could be both of you and it could it could just be you or it could be them take it as it resonates someone's really really in their feelings about the end of the ending of this connection all right let's have a look now at the immediate future we have got the Hierophant more major arcana this is uh major arcana number five which is all about change and movement and growth, positive energy to get for the immediate future. So there's definitely change coming in here, guys. Um, you know, I feel like your person, if this is for your person, is being more traditional in their thinking here because this is very much about tradition, values, beliefs, and being very you know set in their ways, very structured in their thinking. This is about higher values. Uh, self growth has taken place even your person. You know, they've had a lot of learning. They've learned lessons from this connection, valuable, valuable lessons from this connection ending. They've had a spiritual um, glow up here. They're spiritually awakened. Spiritual growth has definitely happened. If this has come out, this is very much a higher, higher um, spiritual growth, higher learning. Um, and I feel like they want to do the right thing here. This is also about, you know, what's right and wrong. And the Hierophant doesn't do the wrong thing. They very much stick to the script. They stick to the routine. They stick to structure. They're all about those commandments. They're all about you know, doing the right thing. So um, this person here is showing up as someone who now wants to do the right thing, who realizes they've done something wrong here, who's very regretful and remorseful about it. Um, and someone who may well want a higher level of commitment here with you. This is also the higher level of commitment card. It can be a marriage card even. So it's all about those traditional values, that very traditional mindset and trying to get back to what's right and wrong here. So this person definitely cares about what's happened in the past. There's no doubt about that. They want this. I feel like they want a new beginning here. I feel like timing was out in the past. I feel like they may have uh, gone towards a third party here. We're going to clarify these cards, but they're really struggling in their thoughts and feelings here now about what's happened in this connection. All right. The next um, card I'm going to pull here is um, hopes and fears, right? What are What's in their hopes and fears? Wow, the five of wands. This five of wands is, is very much about, you know, I feel like they're, your person may be, Gemini, concerned about competition maybe. This is a very competitive energy. Um... I feel like they're worried also about there being conflict that might arise, you know, on them returning um, into this connection. Um, they know that there's a conversation that needs to be had, a tough, tough, tough conversation that needs to be had. 14, 44 on the clock, if that means anything. 444, guys. Definitely significant um, spiritual message is here for you. Um, you know, I feel like maybe they don't know where they stand with you right now, and that's that's causing your person to feel, you know, very worried and concerned about coming back in here. Um, they may feel persecuted by you, I feel. Um, they're very defensive and guarded here. I feel like they feel the need to defend themselves, you know, I, I guess after what's happened in the past, if this is your person that went towards a third party, then I can see why they would come in in this energy. They're concerned about having to have that conversation with you. They're concerned about what you're going to say, about how you're going to respond, if there's going to be a lot of conflict. They're very worried about it. They're not sure, not, not quite sure how to come in here with this communication with this Page of Wands energy. Um, you know, they are frustrated about the current situation. They're bothered by, I feel also like they're very much bothered by other people's opinions. And I did feel like friends were interfering here with this Three of Cups energy as well. This, uh, like I said, third party energy is what I felt with it. But I also feel like, you know, friends and family interfering in the connection also. And then being influenced by their thoughts and feelings and what they think, you know, overly influenced, I feel. So this also represents that. I feel like they're very bothered by what other people think about this connection, whether, you know, people are going to approve of them coming back or whether they're going to approve of you guys being back together or whatever. Just a lot of, you know, worrying about what people think here and approval from others, which is, you know, not healthy because who has the right to tell us how to live our lives? It's our life and we get to choose. We get to make those choices ourselves. We, we shouldn't control anyone else's lives. We're purely here to control our own journey, aren't we? Obviously, the likely outcome, the Six of Cups. Wow. 
The likely outcome is the Six of Cups, guys. Wow, Gemini. Okay, if this can be, um, I feel like this is about mutual mutual effort happening here, right? This is definitely past life soulmate energy. You guys are definitely past life soulmates for this to come out as a likely outcome. It seems to me, if you can follow the guidance in this reading, if you can think about, you know, how things can be worked upon in this connection, if you can come to some kind of mutual effort here, if you can try to salvage what you guys have, because you do have something very deep and meaningful here is what I'm seeing. Something that is worth having something that's worth holding on to here you know uh, there's definitely reconciliation coming in here if you guys both want it it's definitely down to free will we all we always have the choice in those things um but someone i feel like you both have very deep feelings for each other with six of cups coming out here as a likely outcome but i feel like this needs to be overcome there's a lot of talking there is a you know a serious conversation that needs to be had here you know this is a very light hearted energy like i said but a serious conversation does need to take place is what i'm seeing so far um, your person is concerned about there being, you know, conflict and how to come come at you and explain things to you. They're, they're in their hopes and fears here. They're concerned about that. They do want to reconcile with you, it seems, but they're concerned about how they're going to do that here. Um, and they have also learned some valuable lessons from this uh, connection ending. They're in their head, you know, very much so, trying to figure out how to how to make this happen. Um, but I feel like they know that they've done the wrong thing here with this Three of Cups energy. Um, I feel like in the past, like I said, that they were very fixated, uh, very fixed, very stubborn, um, thought that their way was the only way to do things, very controlling, possessive even. Someone that just didn't want to change anything, you know, they were very stuck and it wasn't helping the connection at all because you may have been communicating to them, hey, I'm not feeling good about this, let's try and change this, let's try and fix this, let's do something about this, let's spend some time together, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this person was, you know, just saying, no, let's just do what I say. And, you know, you were kind of just following their tempo here because there's definitely imbalance here with this temperance as your overall energy of the reading. There was definitely imbalance. There wasn't balance in this connection. There wasn't, um, you know, two people working together. They were working almost, you know, one person was doing uh, all the work and putting in all the effort. And the other person was just uh, doing very little and, um, you know, trying to control the connection is what I'm seeing. So timing was not good for you guys, but divine timing is coming into play here if that's what you guys choose to have. Because uh, with the Six of Cups coming out here, it definitely shows me that you are divinely gifted here. You have a divine connection. You are. You put, could possibly be twin flames. Soul, past life soulmates, you could have a soul contract with this person. We're going to clarify and get a few, um, a few cards to find out how deep this connection goes. But it does look like you guys have the opportunity of having a reconciliation with this past person if you can put the work in here. If your person can put the work in here, take it as a resonance. Whoever needs to come back and apologize about this third party energy, about being, you know, influenced by um, outsiders, people outside of the connection, this person who seems to be very much stuck in their head here, not, you know, not knowing quite how to communicate here, wanting to communicate, wanting a new beginning and learning the lessons that need to be learned, but not quite sure how to communicate with you. Um, you know, that person does seem to want this new beginning here with you. The Six of Cups energy, beautiful card, one of my favorite cards in the deck which is why I have it behind me here. You may not be able to see it, but it's just here on the wall. In uh, That's from the Lightseer's Tarot deck. Now let's get some clarifiers before we get um, some uh, some love oracle messages for you guys to close out the reading. And I, let's find out first of all, why is this uh, Temperance here? To clarify the Temperance card, we have got the uh, Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Guys, you really can't make this stuff up. These are literally both Gemini energies as well, right? Um, so yeah, someone here i feel gemini like your person has been sneaky deceptive trying to get away with something here with the seven of swords energy this is probably one of the least you know favorable cards in the deck um there's definitely been something here you know that has um caused an ending here and i did feel like we had third party energy here because it came out as a root cause of this ending so um yeah i feel like your person here gemini or yourself take it as it resonates because it is your energy here so it could possibly be you that has done these things but take it as it resonates someone here has you know raced out of the connection and gone towards as you can see this uh, Knight of Swords is racing towards this uh, this feminine energy here who is looking back trying to get away with something here. So someone here has been deceptive. Someone has, has tried to get away with something here. Someone has been uh, very quick to uh, and very cold and cutting to leave the connection. The Knight of Swords, you know, races after what he wants. He doesn't really think. He's, he doesn't take any time to think about his actions. He literally just, uh, he works on impulse and uh, he's not someone that really thinks through his actions here and, and very similar to the seven of swords energy this person kind of just you know sneaks and runs away and tries to get away with something that they've done and they don't really think about the consequences of their actions on the person that they're hurting uh the impact that it's going to have on the person they're sneaking away from you know they're just really thinking about themselves both very very selfish energies here unfortunately but yeah it does look as though you know there was imbalance there was some kind of um you know definitely imbalance here like i spoke about earlier on um someone who 
you know, wasn't cooperating in this connection, being very selfish. And I feel like timing was really important here and healing needed to take place. This person had some very, I mean, people don't go and do this stuff right unless they've got serious issues that they need to work through as well. So Gemini, you or your person, someone needed to do some serious healing here, had some inner, inner, inner healing that needed to take place because they were, I feel like, uh, gaining their self-worth um, and, and feelings, you know, it's almost like an ego thing here, I feel. Someone who kind of, you know, had very low self-esteem and they needed to try, you know, to try and fill themselves up here by going towards, you know, um, shallow connections, sex, sexual connections, you know, things that aren't really going to fulfill them. But I kind of feel like they fulfill them temporarily just to give them a bit of an ego boost to make them feel better about themselves. There's something about that here I can feel. All right, let's clarify this Four of Pentacles, which is, uh, you know, talking about what's crossing, what's crossing you guys. So let's have a look what's crossing you guys. What's in what's crossing this connection, guys? We've got the Four of Pentacles. So let's find out, you know, why would your, you or your person very controlling in this connection? Okay, we've got the we've now got the Knight of Pentacles. I've literally was just the Four of Pentacles showed up here, you know, crossing this connection. We spoke about the energies that I felt from this particular card. Um, what I felt was, and I spoke about this already, you know, I don't want to go into it again. I'm trying to keep this reading a bit shorter, but you know, someone was very stagnant, not willing to change, not willing to grow, not willing to. Um, at the time, I feel like not really learn any lessons from this. I feel like they just thought it was their way or the highway, very fixed thinking, and they were kind of trying to take control of the connection here. Not willing to do any growing and just very stagnant, right? Not willing to change, not willing to listen to what you had to say, not willing to try anything new. They were just very stagnant and fixed. Now, this uh, Knight of Pentacles, um, also, you know, kind of earth energy, both pentacle energy. Um, I feel as though that's coming out to show that, you know, this person was, um, it's like, it's almost, it's almost like at the back of their mind, they knew that this was something that was, you know, worth worthy of their time. This Knight of Pentacles, you know, he's the only knight that actually gets his job done. He gets all the way to the end and he completes his mission. But he is very methodical, he's very slow, and he is the slowest, one of the slowest moving energies in the deck. So he's very slow moving. And I feel as though this person, Gemini, you are your person. I'm going to keep saying that because I don't, I'm not still sure about who this reading is for. It is obviously about you and your person. And I feel like I'm reading for your person, but it could also be you. Um, so anyway, take it as right. You're a very mutable sign. So as I say, it could even be both of you. You could even be dealing with another Gemini. It's very heavy Gemini uh, feeling for me at the moment. So that's why I keep feeling like it could be your message. But take it as it resonates, right? Roles can flip flop and reverse. And this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody anyway. So let's keep going. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, this is clarifying this Four of Pentacles. Very fixed uh, energy. Someone who didn't want to do any changing, who just thought their way was the only way. And I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles here, this person kind of knew that this person was... Their person was the right person for them, but they just weren't willing to kind of go the whole way, weren't sort of all in at the time. They were still holding back here, and this is very much Knight of Pentacles energy. He does want to offer his cup. He does want to offer a future with you. He does want to offer something stable here, this Knight of Pentacles. He has a pentacle after all. It's a very stable opportunity, um, and it is going to come in. Like I said, it always does. It just takes a lot of time to get there. So I feel like this person was very slow moving and, and taking too long for this connection, which is... I guess uh, a real issue in this connection because it was, you know, this is crossing your connection, right? So, you know, it wasn't helping the connection any by this person offering something very stable, but it was coming in way, way, way too slow. This person, I feel like, was holding back, wasn't quite sure if, you're, if you were worthy of this pentacle or the other person, whoever I'm reading for here. Someone, they felt they weren't quite sure whether they wanted to give this opportunity. They needed more time here. They needed time, so they were very fixed, very stuck, and they weren't quite giving themselves fully the way that they should have been. Root cause um, I got was the uh, Three of Cups, as I spoke about already. Um, I felt like that was third party energy. Let's clarify that one. Definitely need to clarify. Okay, why is this Three of Cups here for a root cause in the ending? Why is this Three of Cups here as a root cause in this connection? What's the root, what's this Three of Cups about, Spirit? What's this Three of Cups about in the root cause position? Two of Pentacles. Yep, someone who was juggling two people, someone who was giving to two, someone who was trying to have balance but was not balancing things. Now, I did already say this, guys, you can't make this stuff up. Temperance for me, as the heart of the matter, meant that there was definitely imbalance in this connection. There was not fairness, there was not justice, something was not right about this connection, which is obviously the heart of this matter. You know, this person was being unfair, they weren't giving their time, they weren't giving their energy, they were kind of just very fixed stubborn holding back here coming in really slow with that knight of pentacles not wanting to offer you anything too soon and taking their time about it which made you kind of feel like well who am i 
what am I, you know, who am I to you? How do you feel about me? You're very insecure, I feel, because they weren't giving you enough. They were breadcrumbing you. This can also be my breadcrumbing energy, Two of Pentacles. They were breadcrumbing you, um, and, you know, they weren't giving you fairly equally here. They were just, like, juggling and taking their time, you know, spending their time between two people is what I'm seeing. And that's why I find the Three of Cups here. I've just literally asked Spirit, why is this Three of Cups here? as a root cause of this connection. And uh, we have the Two of Pentacles. So it's just confirming my um, my fears here. This person was uh, giving to two people, unfortunately, and that's why they couldn't give you what they wanted at the time, or vice versa, depending on who I'm reading for. All right, um, have a look. let's have a look at this recent past energy with this Page of Wands. It does look as though, as I spoke about, you know, this person, uh, pages are about communication, they're messengers. It does look as though this person wants to communicate now, right? Whether this be you or them. Um, and they might be more willing to go in a new direction here, showing more, you know, more, uh, less fixed and more willing to move here. Because I felt in this energy with this Four of Pentacles, they weren't willing to change anything. They weren't willing to do anything differently. They were very fixed, very stuck and not changing anything because it was their way or the highway. So I now have to clarify this page of Wands, the Hierophant, which is now here twice. So I feel like that's very significant in this reading because I'm literally, um, you know, I literally have the Hierophant here, um, in the, in the immediate future here. With this coming out to clarify, I feel as though this person knows that they need to do the right thing. And I spoke about this already with this Hierophant energy in the future here. This person showing up, you know, this Hierophant showing up twice um, in your in your reading, Gemini, it, it seems as though um, there's, a, there's a very spiritual lesson here. There is higher learning. There is, this person has had a real glow up in their, in their energy. You or your person, whoever I'm reading for here, someone has really, really, really glowed up here. Um, someone is understanding, you know, the importance of the connection. Someone is understanding the importance of being traditional, of sticking to the rules here, of being fair, of being just, of being balanced. And I feel like they kind of also know that divine timing is at play here and it's going to happen in divine timing. And it's up to free will, of course, as we know. But... There's really significant learnings that has happened that have happened here for you or your person, or it could even be for both of you. So this person that wants to communicate and wants to have a new beginning here, someone who sees things differently, who's you know, like I said, this is my my minor arcana and full card here. This person knows what they want. They they know how to be successful, and they know, they're ready to focus on that. It's something that could be long term, rather than that blind full energy. They're doing it in a more uh, methodical, uh, planned way is what I'm seeing here. Someone who's not quite taking a full risk, they're, they're planning this out and, and, and following a plan. So I feel like um, this person is more willing to go in a new direction because they are learnt, relying on the spiritual growth and the spiritual awakening that they've had. They're in a glow up energy here. So um, I'm not surprised that that came out for this energy, but the Hierophant here twice is a very significant message, guys. This is a very spiritual connection for that to come out here twice, right? Very, very spiritual connection. Um, and I felt temperance and, and the Hierophant here, uh, Six of Cups, extremely spiritual connection here, guys. Um, you guys are almost destined to be together is what I'm seeing here. You know, you're spiritually destined to be together. Um, could be twin flame soulmate. I, I do know past life soulmate energies here, but you guys could even be twin flames mirroring each other. Having very valuable spiritual lessons, very spiritual lessons to learn from each other could be possibly here. All right, um, let's find out why this uh, eight of, Nine of Swords is here, Gemini. Your own energy here uh, showing up um, as your own perception of this connection. Um, yeah, definitely it's here for a reason, right? You guys, uh, I feel, as I spoke about, really... Um, so with, this, with, this, with you showing up here in your own reading, guys, this Nine of Swords energy, yeah, got the... Wow. <laughs> okay, clarifying this uh, Nine of Swords, which is in your perception about this connection we've got... The Hermit and the Six of Cups. Wowzers, guys. I do... I'm not surprised, really, that this is coming out. I spoke about how, you know, in this uh, Nine of Wands energy... Sorry, in this Nine of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, your energy showing up here. Someone's very overwhelmed, very, you know, regretting the past, having sleepless nights, etc. Someone who's very vulnerable and unhappy with this ending here, realizing what they've done wrong here. And I feel like this is very introspective energy. Obviously, the Hermit is extremely introspective. So... You, you know, you or your person have taken this time out to um, really go introspective here, go within to figure out, you know, to get your shit together, I'm feeling, you know, really get your shit together. And I'm hearing someone needed time out here. Time out is what I'm hearing. Someone needed time out to really focus on themselves here for a period of time to think about what they wanted to, in life, to have a bit of distance and clarity, I feel. 
distance and clarity. They wanted to have some space from the connection, some time out to see if it was really what they wanted in their life. They weren't, they were a little bit confused at the time and divine timing here, like I said, was definitely at play. There was some kind of un unfairness, injustice, someone not giving, someone very fixed, someone not willing to move, change, do anything. That person needed this time, this introspective time to gather that clarity, to gather that perspective, to figure out what it is that they wanted. I'm seeing this person now realizes that you are their past life soulmate. The Six of Cups is now here twice as well. You've got the Hierophant twice and the Six of Cups twice. This is an extremely... Um, you guys have a soul contract here. Yeah. But you guys have known each other in other lifetimes. You're here to learn lessons from each other. Um, if I get the Four of Wands, I'm going to say you guys are absolute twin flame, soulmate, past life soul contract, everything under the sun, right? But anyway, um, these two cards coming out twice, Six of Cups and the Hierophant, extremely spiritual connection that you guys, you guys were meant to cross paths. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, this is here to clarify that um, these things needed to come from time. So you have to take that time out to go within and, you know, you're kind of really struggling because you do want to be with this person. You're your person as it resonates. Um, someone really wants to resurrect this connection here. Um, the Six of Cups coming in here, past life, you know, soulmate. Someone they want to resurrect, resurrect this with and, um, you know, it's up to free will here. You know, this, you both get to decide what happens here in this connection, right? Now clarifying... The immediate future, we got the Hierophant, as I spoke about. We've got the Hierophant here twice. So um, let's find out why is the Hierophant here. This is about someone, you know, uh, doing some really real spiritual growth here, learning valuable lessons from this connection and wanting to do the right thing in the connection now. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit? For Gemini and their person, uh, end of December, early January. Why? End of December, early Jan. Why is the Hierophant here? The world. Major Arcana number 21. The final Major Arcana in the deck. So... The final major arcanum. So, you know, major arcanum goes from zero up to 21 and the world, you know, clap, you know, the world represents a, a brand new beginning here. You know, it's about um, closing out a cycle and starting a new one. If we know, you know, the earth travels around the sun once every year, right? So this is very much that energy. The world is representing, you know, a year in time. So it could be even that you guys um, have, have been apart for a year, close to a year here is what I'm seeing. It could be a year is what it, what's being represented here. Um, or it could just be that you guys are about to start a new, you know, you've closed out a cycle and you're starting a new cycle. And I do feel like you needed that time. Time is very significant in this reading. Time is really significant in this uh, reading. The very first card was about temperance, was all about time. Time has been a key, key player in this energy, in this connection. So without you guys having time apart, I don't feel as though you guys could come back together. And I feel like we're coming, you know, full circle here. So from that temperance energy, we're now moving into the world energy. So, you know, you've done the time, you've, you've, you've used the patience, you've learned the lessons with the Hierophant here twice, you know, you, you, you recognize each other as past life soulmates with the Six of Cups coming out here twice. You know, valuable spiritual lessons and awakening has happened. I feel like you've both really leveled up here. You both have ascended in this connection and I feel like this world card coming out to represent this Hierophant shows me that you're ready to start a whole new cycle here. In the future, it looks like you guys are starting a new cycle. You may well have been separated for a year or close to a year with this world energy um, or it could just represent that you know, you've, you've had to learn, you've had to take time out, like I said, to learn the lessons and in, in, in divine timing with the temperance overall energy, in divine timing, this connection comes back together here if you choose that to happen because you've both learned some very spiritual lessons here. You've both ascended and it's happening in divine timing. We've now got another, you know, another confirmation from spirit with the world being here as well as the temperance that this is a divine connection. It's going to happen in divine timing. Like I said, could very well even be a year between this connection ending and coming back together again. All right, let's find out um, two more to clarify and then we'll get a couple of Oracle to finish off. Hope my lighting's going to last a bit longer. All right, why is this five of wands here? Four of cups, right? You know, in your person's hopes and fears, Gemini, or yours, take it as reason. In your or your person's hopes and fears here, we've got the five of wands, as I spoke about. They're very concerned or you're very concerned about conflict of this coming back together. You know, feeling very challenged, very, feeling very defensive, frustrated, bothered, etc. Four of Cups here represents, you know, in their hopes and fears, they're concerned about being rejected. You or your person are concerned about being rejected here. You're, you're worried that if you, you know, in your hopes and fears, you're worried that if you communicate with this person with this Page of Wands energy, if you try to create this new beginning here and coming out, coming out of your head and into action here, if you try to create this new cycle here after these learnings, if you try to, um, you know, communicate and have this new beginning, um, you are very fearful or they're very fearful of being rejected here. Whoever this message is for, this person is very, very concerned about being rejected here. They do not want to put their heart, they put themselves out there and, uh, you know, and they're just very, very, very fearful 
of uh, being rejected here with this Four of Cups energy. All right, let's find out. Finally, um, we've got the Six of Cups here as a likely outcome. Let's clarify the Six of Cups for the outcome here. Um, let's clarify the Six of Cups, please, for Gemini and their person. End of December, early Jan. Why is the Six of Cups here as a likely outcome? Clarify. Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, the Eight of Wands is my forward movement card. It's my yes card. It's everything that you want to... <laughs> My, it's one of my mo most positive cards in the deck. Okay, so a lot of readers see it as, you know, fast forward movement, uh, sorry, fast communication. I see it just as fast forward movement in general. This is not just about communication, right? Wands are action takers. They're, sorry, they're action takers and they're very, 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 you know, they know what they want and they go after it, right? So this Eight of Wands shows me that your person knows that this is what they want or it's your message. Someone here knows what they want here and they know that they want this Six of Cups. They know what this past per they know that this past person is their soulmate, is their past life soulmate. They want this brand new beginning with that person. Definite clarify here. Yes card for me. Movement. I feel like it's going to ha happen very swiftly. It could very much happen. It could very well happen uh, late in December, early January here. Um, it's definitely in the near future here, very, very near future, because we're looking at um, an a likely outcome of this connection, and uh, we're looking at time frames here in this reading is, you know, for late December, early, early January 2022. Looks as though this could very much be uh, a past life soulmate connection that returns to your connection, that returns to your life in the very near future. This is my yes card. This couldn't be any better, guys. Amazing. I'm so happy for you guys, but it does look like if you choose for this to happen, again, it does come down to free will. If you do not want this, then it's not going to happen, right? It's only going to happen if this is what you both choose in your life. And that's what life, you know, that's what these, that's what connections are all about, you know? I mean, I can read the energies till the cows come home, but if you don't want it, if you don't choose for it to happen, we can't magically make it happen. It literally has to be your free will and your choice to make it happen. Okay, um, all right, let's get a couple of oracle messages to finish off. This looks amazing, guys. So if you're wanting someone to return, Gemini, it looks like they're going to, right? Or vice versa if you're a cross-watcher. Uh, definitely positive reconciliation energy here. All right, let's get uh, one card from my Island Time Oracle, one from my Romance Angel Oracle. All right, let's get one card from this deck. So what do we need to know in relation to Gemini and their person's connection, please? Gemini and their person's connection. <coughs> What advice or messages do you have for Gemini and their person in this connection? Okay, can I get one message please in relation to Gemini and their person? Okay guys, we've got seduction coming out from the Island Time Oracle, which is all about attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, temptation third party interference. I would only say with this card, I mean, this is positive. It means that you guys are going to have a lot of passion here for each other. And I do see that with this one's energy. I feel like, you know, you guys have a lot of passion, attraction to each other. There's no, there's no problem there, I feel, with you and your person, Gemini. This could just be a little, you know, warning. Just watch out for this third party energy, not trying to interfere in your connection there. But I see a very um, positive message there that this person um, has a lot of passion for you and vice versa. You're both very uh, sexually attracted to each other, have a lot of uh, passionate section at sexual energy just be mindful that this third party might want to um try to get involved in this connection okay from the romance angel we have got we have got the romantic feelings card from the romance angel oracle so this is all about your feelings are real and worth exploring and i do feel like that gemini you both feel that way about each other i feel like it's a very mutual energy here um at the bottom of the deck i've got the true true love card with oh so i'm going to finish with my new um beautiful uh, love oracle messages all right spirit can we have a final message here for gemini and their person late december early january what does gemini and their person need to know oh okay oh, okay okay i've got three i'm going to take them all they're all very positive though we've got romance cupid's arrow strikes oh my gosh this is so relevant to this reading isn't it then I got power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. What, what, what literally was I just saying, Gemini? I was literally just saying that it's all down to um, free will. You guys get to choose what you want here in your life. No one's going to force this upon you, but it looks like if you want it, there is a freaking amazing energy. I nearly swore then. And the final card I have is healing. Whoop, throwing cards around now. Where did I just put that? Okay, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. I, I, have so, I have no more to say. Romance, power, and healing. You know, you guys have got the absolute opportunity to have a new, beautiful, abundant beginning here if that's what you choose to have. 
you know, you both have romantic feelings for each other. You're very physically attracted to each other with a seduction card here. Um, amazing reading, guys. I'm really happy for you. <sighs> yep, look at this. Bottom of the deck from this, uh, my new Love Oracle messages. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So I feel like that's kind of a message to say anything that's dark and harboring any negative thoughts, feelings, beliefs in this connection, you need to let them go. You need to let them go and try to move forward with this, you know, new, abundant, fresh mindset. A new mindset about this whole connection is what I see. Really important. Um, and look at this, guys. A message for you. This is what literally just fell out in front of me. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. That literally just fell out from the deck as I went to pick it up. So, yeah, I do feel as though, Gemini, um, you guys have got a very special connection. Um, yeah. I have to say, I'm, uh, I'm someone who... Yeah, Gemini is... Um, my person is a Gemini too, so um, I feel kind of connected to this reading. But, okay, guys, I'm going to finish there. Um, thank you so much for your support if you've watched all the way to the end. Please don't forget to like, to share if it might help someone else, to comment if you'd like to let me know how it resonates with you or how it's helped you in any way. Don't forget to, sub don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you get alerted when I upload new videos. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.